Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. Designing with cathedral ceilings. Let me show you a real quick trick when it comes to changing ceiling heights, when it comes to slants, slopes, cathedrals, and such. I've already drawn a big rectangular room. It looks like four walls. It is not. This drawing is actually six walls. And if I zoom in right here, you'll see there's a little faint line right here. And if I were to double click on this left hand wall, you'll notice that under properties, it'll say wall number one is actually divided in two pieces, section one and section two. Wall number three is divided into two pieces as well, section one and section two. So I have a wall that's 300 inches in length, but I took the first 80 inches and I stopped and then I drew another wall 120. This is what I did. Let me just give you a quick example of that. I went to room layout. I clicked on continuous. I'll click right here on a wall and I'll draw up. And let's say I type in 80, hit enter. Then I took my mouse and I simply rotated the next section to point up and I typed in uh, 220, enter. I actually have drawn one wall, but it's in two pieces. Let's go ahead and delete this wall and let's come back to this plan. Now, if I take a quick look at this, let's go in and do a rendering of this. I want you to notice that when a rendering comes up, this is just a big old gray rectangular room. Nothing special about this yet. Okay? If we come back down again though, and I double click on any wall, doesn't matter, I can double click on any wall, I can change the ceiling heights based on the walls. So if you look down here where it says height, height of the wall is 96 and it ends at 96. That means it starts at 96 and it ends at 96. So I could take section one, and there's a little button right here that says use the same height for both ends. If I turn that off and then come down here to end and type in 144, I just told the system to take wall section one, start at 96 inches high, but have it go up to 144. I can then go to section two, turn the check mark off, that's the key. I can say section two actually starts at 144, but it's going to slope back down or slant back down to 96. Now I need to do the same exact thing on the opposite side of the room. So I'm going to go over to section one, turn the check mark off. I'm going to say it's 144, but it slopes down to 96. Then I can go to section two, turn the check mark off. You see a little pattern here, turn the check mark off. That gives you the ability to do it. I'll say it's 144 to 96. Once I've changed those four pieces, there's one more thing we want to do, and this is really, really important. We want to go to the tab called Type. If I click on Type, at the very bottom it says Ceiling, and it tells me when does it want it to connect to the ceiling. Depends on the height of the wall, which means if you draw a knee wall, it won't connect it to the ceiling. I actually want all these walls to connect to the ceiling because I want to create that visual, that, that image of the ceiling. So I'm going to put a check mark next to Connect to Ceiling. When I click OK, and you'll see as we start to work here that the ceiling is actually sloped just like we talked about. For other great ideas, tips, and inspiration, please join us at 2020spaces.com forward slash community.